Before we were looking at arithmetic sequences and series. Now we're going to look at something called geometric sequence. Now what a geometric sequence is, this is actually really important here to know sort of what it, what it is. Well a sequence is a list of numbers. But the special thing that makes them geometric, now just to remember again, arithmetic had a common difference. Well here, they're not going to have a common difference, they're going to have a common ratio. That's the key thing here. And that ratio is going to be called R. R is going to be the ratio. And that's it. Um, now you can say it's important here that R can be negative, and it can also be a fraction. Okay, so don't be surprised if your ratio is a fraction or if it's a negative, that's okay too. So let's do some examples then. So I'm able to do that. So example. Um, maybe we'll look at the number list of numbers. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Dot, dot, dot. Well, the first term is 1. It's important just to be able to pick out these things. But what about the common ratio? Does it have 1? Well, the key is here. Maybe I'll do these. Uh, yeah, I'll leave them in black. So the key is then to figure out, well, to do a ratio, I like to do sort of the second term divided by the first term. So this divided by this. So 2 divided by 1, that's 2. Well, what about 4 divided by 2? In other words, the next set. So 4 divided by 2, it better be the same thing. And it is, it's 2. Just like 8 divided by 4 is also 2. And 16 divided by 8 is also 2. So because of that, then we can say that it has a common ratio, and the ratio is 2. So just to show you so that we can do a whole bunch of little uh, examples like this, we can do some more. We can say, how about this list? 32, 8, 2, and let's go with some fractions, maybe a half and then 1 eighth, dot, dot, dot. So again, u1, the first term, that's just 32. But how do I find the common ratio? Well, I take second term divided by the first term, so 8 divided by 32. Now you should always reduce your fractions. And so this one here, they both divide by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1, and 32 divided by 8 is 4. Let's see if it works again. How about 2 divided by 8? It's important to be able to do these things, right? So 2 divided by 8, well, they both divide by 2, and that gives me 1 over 4. Well, that's encouraging. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to actually try then 1 half divided by 2. What happens when you do this right here? Well, this is 1 over 2 divided by 2. It's the same thing as saying 1 over 2 times 2. So that gives me 1 over 4. And finally, 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 2. You don't have to panic here. This is a fraction divided by a fraction. If you remember what to do, a fraction divided by a fraction is the same thing as saying the first fraction times the reciprocal of the bottom one. In other words, you flip the bottom one and you multiply the 2. And then multiplying fractions is easy. 1 times 2 is just 2. 8 times 1 is just 8. 2 over 8 reduces to 1 over 4. Guess what? Common ratio everywhere. Common ratio is whoops, 1 over 4. Maybe I'll write that a little bit better here. So ratio is 1 over 4. I can do even more. And just to get some experience here with these, how about this list? Negative 2, uh, we'll say 6, negative 18, uh, 54, negative 162. Again, u1 is going to be negative 2, that's the first term. And the common ratio, well, 6 divided by negative 2. That gives me negative 3. But negative 18 over 6, let's see if that really is still the same thing, and it still is negative 3. And you can keep going, right? 54 divided by negative 18 is negative 3, and you can keep going. The idea then is that common ratio of negative 3. Now why do we bother doing this and picking all the stuff out? Well, that's because we have a general term. We have a term for the so that u nth term here, so the general term for an uh, sorry, geometric sequence. So for a geometric sequence, I'll say. This is what we're finding. We're finding the generic term for any geometric sequence, in other words, any list of numbers separated by a comma that has a common ratio. It goes like this. So before we had a un 
for arithmetic sequence, and we still have that here, except this time it goes u1 times r to the power of n minus 1. This is how this one goes. So that is the, probably the most important equation from this video here. That's the geometric sequence. That's how it works. So remember, um, un, that's just the nth term. So if you wanted uh, the fifth term, this would be u5, or you want the hundredth term, u100. u1 is still the first term. r is the common ratio. And of course, well, n is just that same thing. So if you want the fifth term, then n is 5, and so on. What's really important, though, is that you don't just multiply u1 first, then multiply that by r, and take all of that to the power of n minus 1. You have to remember your order of operations. And that says you first do exponents. So you first do r to the power of this, and then you multiply that answer by u1. That is a very common mistake that students make. So keep in mind, always do your exponent first. So r to the power of whatever, and then take that answer and multiply it by this.